Oh, it's you again. I don't need you that that not but I don't need you messing up my life. Oh no, no. Damn, Danny Swift took the fight. How they say he took the heart right out the line. Took the fight out the dog, y'all. I don't know if it's age. They say you can go old overnight in the ring. I don't know if it's things outside of the ring. I don't know if it was the weight difference. But first of me, um, shout outs to Laura, man. And the artist Lonnie Laura. I ain't seen him in a while. And um, no, them Dominican and Cubano brothers, man, y'all age well. And that's another thing, y'all. I never believe the age that they say that they are. I got a few of them personally in my life. I always add five to ten years on whatever age they say. Like like King Kong Ortiz, he wasn't no thirty two. That man probably damn near fifty. But uh, yeah. So shout outs to Laura, man. He typical Laura, Laura style. Uh, pride in his time, milling, uh, looking for shots, very cerebral, pick you apart, great boxer, outboxer, footwork, can lower you to sleep, he'll cakewalk you, got a pistol left hand, I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying, straight through the heart, 4-5, pow, he just target practice on Danny, man, I've never seen Danny Swift that much on his heels, that much on his bicycle before in the fight, man. And when he got knocked down with that sneaky left, it almost looked like a like a James Tony or a Willie Pep type shot. They got into a little thing on the ropes. Danny backed up to the ropes. L stepped to his left, to Laura's right. Then he stopped and was coming back to his right, to Laura's left. And then Laura just snuck a hip shot. Boom, left. And then it was delayed reaction too. Danny took a step or two and crumbled down like a tree, man. Timber! I said, dang, Danny Swift. I mean, he really, they really wasn't hurting each other. If y'all watched the fight, y'all heard that the crowd was booing and some of the rounds were, were very boring. They really weren't doing much. But Laura Stahl has always been like that. That's why he's difficult to fight. And that's why a lot of guys, you know, second guess fighting him. Anywho, Laura did his thing, man. And Danny, I love watching his fights. He's always been a tough bruiser. Great counter puncher, could fight in the pocket. And uh, I think the announcer was saying that's the first time, not only that Danny's been knocked down, but the first time he's ever been stopped. I said, really? Wow. And Danny fought bruisers, man. Heavy hitters. From Porter to Thurman. I want to say he fought Spence, but I'm, I'm not sure, man. Khan. And he looked like he had the end of the rope, man. Uh, shout out to Danny, man, him and his family. Uh, much love to him. Big shout out to Lauder, him and his family, man. These dudes are millionaires. Uh, I strive to be like them, even though I don't want to take that type of punishment physically. But uh, shout out to them, man, and, and <laughs> may they live long and prosper, man. But I know when Danny got in the ring and saw Laura and felt that piston jab, he said, Oh, no, it's you again. I don't need